Hello, this is New Vision TV. I am Lynn Komjisha. The Deputy Chief Justice Alfonso Winyi Dolo has appealed to Ugandans to pray for him as he adjudicates sensitive cases. Winyi Dolo, and I quote, says, I ask you, the citizens, to pray for me because the job I am holding is challenging. I need God's guidance to deliver justice without fear or favor. He and four other judges recently handled a petition challenging the amendment of the Constitution to remove the presidential age limit. They are yet to deliver the judgment. The other justices are Remy Kasule, Elizabeth Musoke, Cheborian Barishaki, and Kenneth Kakuru. When Yudolo made the remarks at City Royal Resort Hotel in Kampala during the Thanksgiving ceremony following his appointment to the position of Deputy Chief Justice, the ceremony was organized by Greater Agago Southern Association. The association was started to promote unity and development in Agago district. During the function, Owini Dolo said he was an incorruptible man. Moving on, President Yori Museveni has promised to support the family of the fallen member of parliament for Arua municipality, Ibrahim Abidiga, and that of his brother, Saidi Buga Congo. He said the government always takes care of its soldiers by supporting their families. While addressing thousands of mourners in Rhino Camp at the Jogoro Primary School grounds, Museveni called Abiriga's killers pigs who cannot appreciate when gold is given to them. The ceremony was attended by a cross-section of personalities including the First Lady, Janet Museveni, and NRM Secretary General Justin Kasule Lumumba. Museveni said he would give Abiriga's clan 50 million shillings to form a savings and credit cooperative society to enable them to start income-generating ventures to support their families since their breadwinner had died. He promised to construct a classroom block in a Jagoro primary school and name it after Abiriga. General Moses Ali, the first deputy prime minister, appealed to Ugandans to help the government in ensuring security by disclosing the identities of criminals. And now, the High Court Judge Susan Okalani yesterday asked former Lord's Resistance Army Rebel Commander Thomas Coelho, alias Latoni, to establish whether the lawyers representing him on private brief have not abandoned him. The judge said she was prompted to ask him after Kale Balaka and Evan Zocheng had skipped three sessions of the hearing of his case. She wondered whether Coelho's lawyers were still interested in representing him. Following an amendment of the indictment by the Director of Public Prosecutions, the former LRA commander is currently facing 67 charges, including murder, hostage-taking, pillaging and robbery, cruel treatment, outraging upon personal dignity, enslavement, rape and torture. In sports news, cries of poor funding that had become synonymous with Uganda's sports sector could soon be history. Ever since the First Lady, Janet Museven, took charge of the Education and Sports Ministry in 2016, the sector's fortunes have steadily improved. The latest boost to sport is a 34 billion shillings offer in the 2018-2019 budget. This is more than triple Uganda's past annual sports budgetary allocations. Finance, plan and Economic Development State Minister David Bahati confirmed the increment recently. In 2018-2019 budget will be read on Thursday by Minister Kasaija. Representing Minister Matia Kasaija at a National Budget Week sports tournament at Lugogo on Sunday, Bahati explained that the money will be directed to three areas. You're still watching New Vision TV, and now for Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at the monkeys in Uganda. We have monkeys in Mukono district in the central region of Uganda, and they can be found at the Ankara Foundation, River Sezibwa, among other areas. These monkeys have quite a unique lifestyle that is different from the other monkeys. At the Sanya Hill Mukono district in the central region of Uganda is where you find Ankara Foundation, a home to some of the monkeys in Mukono. The monkeys here use the evergreen vegetation in this area to find shelter. They jump from tree to tree to interact with themselves and also the visitors in the area. 
They vary in colors, you can see black, then brown, and some have both colors. Their major food is bananas and even leaves. Some hunt for the fruits that grow on most of the trees to change their diet. However, in the evergreen vegetation at Markshin Falls National Park, monkeys of all sizes call this home. These monkeys feed on the leaves in a more unique way. They actually behave more or less than a human being who has lived in the forest for years. Tourists from across the region express excitement when they meet these monkeys. Monkeys are spread across the country in each and every forest. Tourists can find them there. Now from Palo of Africa Stories, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. Our newspaper, The Sun Division, is also another home of adventures, so grab your copy every Sunday. For Palo of Africa Stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Komdisha.